what's up guys and welcome back to another video um, today I just want to show you guys what's in the back of my car my car is nothing special it's a 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe uh, it's a regular SUV it gets the job done but yeah in the back a lot of people don't know but it's kind of like the Batmobile I keep all my little gadgets and toys back here so if I'm out on a job or something or <clears throat> so I install planter boxes uh, trellises I help build retaining walls you know a lot of garden projects like that I team up with a local landscaper and we do things like that together but you know I like to have my own set of tools he has his but like I said this is my Batmobile so all right let's get started uh, this tool ba bag right here, it's actually a tackle box from Walmart. Um, it's the Ozark Trail something something. I forget the the full name of it, but yeah, it's originally a, a, a tackle box for fishing. But hey, you know, I use it for a tool bag. So instead of having the zippered pockets closed all the way, we'll start over here. You know, I have like, uh, you know, things ready to quick grab that I might need. Got some um, wire cutters. Might have to cut some chicken wire or cut through a fence or something or cut my toenails. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, these are the metal cutters they're pretty good they're pretty sharp I had them for years now but they haven't gotten dull yet so then over here I have uh, an adjustable wrench um, I had this thing for a long time I need to get a new one my dad gave that to me I think when I was a teenager I still have it <laughs> just to let you know how old that is um, I have this thing right here um, it heats up really really fast and see that little tip like it'll melt um, solder when I'm like reattaching like um, metal pieces or something or <clears throat> fixing something electronic you know, who you knows? Something, some of my tools might break and I have to fix it on the fly. You know, just thinking about the customer. Um, I have a spray bottle, nothing in it right now, but um, I might put like soap water in there beforehand. That way I can just clean my tools or, you know, rinse my hands off if I get like grease on it or, you know chemicals or something all right and I don't know if you noticed but I put these little clips on here in case I have to clip like my keys or <clears throat> you know something else that might I might have to hurry up and clip on there as you can see my bag is like right to the edge of the trunk so as soon as I open the tailgate I'm ready to go I can just see what I have grab get in get out but um, next I have these vice grips, the needle nose head on it. Just bought these. As you can see, the tag is still on there. Same here, another pair of vice grips. Yeah. Got a pipe brush. Never know you might need that, All right? Um, I got some needle nose pliers for cutting wires and stripping wires and other stuff. It's always good to keep these kind of things on hand. I got some um, little scissors. 
Like I said, you never know when you might need these things. Adjustable, not adjustable, but um, just a regular wrench. I think I use that for my mower. Phillip head screwdriver, flat head screwdriver. Regular pliers. Another wrench. I just realized it's gonna be a pain to put all this stuff back in this bag. <laughs> but oh well, let's keep let's keep going. Alright, so safety first. You know, I didn't know this, but I found out the other day, you can get these tinted for like the same price. Kind of like those transition lens that you see with like normal glasses. They sell these at Home Depot, but they're tinted, which is really good because this sun gets really, really bright. So not only do you protect your eyes from like rocks and sticks flying up, from a lawnmower or a weed eater, but you protect your eyes from the sun too. So, yeah, I might get rid of these and get the other ones. I'm just too lazy to go get it. Um, this is like my little side pouch. I keep it on me. Um, instead of lugging this bag around, I might just, you know, grab what I need, put it in here, put it on my belt carry it with me it's got a few pouches in there and, you know straps I love it so I always keep that with me too all right now it's got other pockets I haven't even used this pocket yet I think I have what zip ties in here it's another one. I have a uh, a room thermometer I don't really know what I use this for I just somebody gave it to me <laughs> I just I just hung on to it but yeah I forget how it works wow that's how hot it is out here yeah 98.6 uh, I don't know what that is. I have these, um, you know, sometimes you deal with uh, irrigation systems and stuff. So you gotta have these for PVC pipes. I remember one time I ran over one with a lawnmower. That wasn't pretty. <laughs> but yeah, it's good to have these things. I, I rarely use them, but um, there are applications where you might need those. Uh, I got this. Sealing tape. I got this. It's like a scouring pad. <clears throat> Sometimes I use it to clean um you know, just my tools, if I get, like, adhesive stuck to it or something, and I don't want to sit there trying to peel it off with my fingernails. I don't really have fingernails, but I'll just use this to scrape it off or just clean my tools up, get rust off. I'm a neat freak. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have my chuck. For my um, my drill, I got different sizes on it. I keep this little pouch right here. I keep uh, blades and um, just little small little replacement parts for certain things. You know, if I just didn't have this, it would be just all in my bag, just floating around and stuff. I don't like that. I like compartments. So everything is where it needs to be. I don't know exactly where to go to get it. And, um, yeah. I think I got this off my old bicycle. 
yeah, it came with my bike, but I just repurposed it. Like I do everything else. Uh, got a wrench, lock, in case I put something in here like my wallet or my phone or something, <clears throat> and I'm doing something in the yard, just lock it up real quick. Uh, I gotta remember the combination for this. Oh wait, I have a key, yeah, there we go. It's on my key ring. That'd be crazy if I locked my car keys in this bag to keep it safe and then forgot the combination <laughs> to the lock. I got another one of those fasteners. Uh, socket wrench. Screwdriver. Uh, some more of these things. Hand sanitizer. COVID free, the way to be. Uh, scraper tool. Did you see that just now? See these blades? Normally there'd be like a metal blade on there. But nowadays you can get these. Let's fucking get that off. Or maybe you can see it from here, but it's these plastic blades. So let's say there's something on a a window at a house and you want to get it off but you don't want to use those metal blades because it'll actually scratch the glass you can put these on there and scrape it right off normally for like um, water spots from uh, the lawn sprinklers you know a splash on the window you can use this you know get it off really really good but mind you you have to spray some uh, water spot remover on the glass first let it sit for a little bit and just get it right off but these are plastic blades i wish i can get that off but i got i only have one hand but yeah it's my scraper tool all right over here i've got Just some markers. I like these markers because it doesn't matter if you, let's say you're trying to mark a piece of wood and make a cut. It doesn't matter if there's dust on there or dirt, if it's wet. These things are like really reliable. Just open it up and make your make your mark. And um, I actually got two of these because I use these quite a lot. I'm not good at eyeballing things anymore, so I have to measure and mark things out. So that's what those are for. I got another one right here. Flashlight. I like this. It's waterproof. It's pretty heavy too, but it goes into my um, little pouch right here. So, I got that one, and I also have this one. It doesn't hurt to have two. Look how, look how old that is. Man, I really need to upgrade some of my tools. But, you know, um, you have tools for so long, you form this attachment. And it's, like, really, really hard to get rid of them. <laughs> I know some of you guys are laughing, but... And there are some of you guys out there that actually know what I'm talking about. But dry erase marker. Uh, I wonder how that got in there. I don't really use that that much. I keep a lot of office supplies in here. So if I can do estimates on the go or uh, jot down some stuff, I can do that. Got an ink pen. And my fingers are way too big for this pocket. Got a, another ink pen. Uh, oh, I got some business cards. It's my first time ordering these from Canva. Just want to show you guys what they look like. That's another good feature I like about this tackle box slash tool bag. <laughs> has this 
tray like surface so you can just put things right here and get some work done uh, one of my business cards right here you can see that it's the back of it got a QR code send you straight to uh, my Facebook page so that's that let's put that back in there put that to the side and in this pocket I have a charger for my impact driver and my uh, my cordless drill. Um, I got some technical stuff in here like patch cable. Got some miscellaneous wires. Uh, like I said, this is like my mobile office too. Uh, so. If I'm out on the go and, you know, I need to do some, um, get some business done, I can do that. I got like two laptops and a crap ton of tablets in the car too. I use them for different things, but, um, alright, so let's check the big pocket. In here. <laughs> Once again, like I said, this was a tackle box, but hey, you know, I love buying things that are intended for something else and using it for something completely different. Got my bits in here, sockets. And this one, I have a... Um, blades for my uh, my saw got some drill bits electrical uh, o-rings and this is what I was talking about earlier with that scraper these uh, plastic blades I love those I'm glad they invented that um, some more of those other things and these are the actual metal blades for that scraper I can bet anything I'm about to cut my finger open right now I'm just gonna leave that protective paper on there cuz yeah and the next one I got washers screws nails a bunch of other stuff some brushes this actually attaches into the drill if you don't have these you might you should just go ahead and get some because these are good for everything so many different applications and I got the medium thickness that way it's not too hard and it's not too soft so if you want to clean off like a, a pool chair or a patio chair cushion or something you just spray some soap water on there, put it on a drill, clean it right up. Uh, I got that one, and I got this one, this little smaller one. It does the same thing. Um, got some more nails, duct tape. Nails, cordless drill, my impact driver, and I got this little bad boy. It's a power inverter. Uh, let me show you how it works. And this is my battery charger. There we go. Just turn on the power. Wait for it to turn green. Let me 
power my laptop or my other gadgets. Then I have these um, wet wipes. Like I said, for cleaning my equipment off and cleaning my hands. Yeah, things like that. Um, then I have this random orbital sander. Um, you know, sand down like uh, my wood once I cut it or uh, for you know, there's like so many DIY projects that I use this for. It's just, it's just good to have. I hate sanding things by hand. It takes forever. I ran out of elbow grease a few years ago. They don't manufacture it anymore, so. <laughs> All right. Over here, I have these trigger clamps. I got it backwards. There we go. Just keep squeezing the trigger until it gets tighter. I think this one has 35 pounds of pressure. So, so I'm clamping things together. Tape measure. Gloves. Uh, another clamp. eater just another spool of um, string there we go Some microfiber for wiping my uh, everything else down then over here I have my um, water jug it's like a water cooler It's not that big, but it comes in clutch. Then in this back pocket, I have a, again, this is a, a, a tackle box for going fishing, but it's like a smaller version of this bag right here. So let's say I have to climb a tree or, you know, if, if I have a job that requires holding more stuff than this thing right here, then I'll go ahead and use this. You know, I just throw it over my shoulder. It's just like a little, little bag. But yeah, I have that. Um, spray bottle. Got a vacuum. Let's say at the end of the day, I throw all my tools back here. I end up with like so much sawdust and grass and dirt <laughs> that I have to I have to vacuum like every afternoon with this thing. But I love it though. Ooh, I might have to empty that out. It's getting pretty full. All right, so my um, leaf blower one gallon pump sprayer let me show you guys something about this it's a little trick I learned I'll try to get this off all right so and this is my bungee cord by the way I just to keep everything sturdy so because I drive I drive like a maniac so <laughs> I don't want my tools going from left to right, left to right. So I just clamp it onto here. And to do that, I have these zip ties right here. I don't know if you can see that. But um, I attach this little clip so I can hook it onto there. I don't know why they don't make these in the first place onto these gallon sprayers. You know, it'd be convenient if you can just latch it onto your tool belt or something. If you're climbing a ladder or something or that's just my opinion. If you guys want to take that invention and get rich, go ahead. Um, 
I gotta get a new hose, but that's why I put this little clip right here because it kept bending. And I couldn't get any water to come through. But yeah, that's what I really wanted to show you guys about this little feature. If they can make these in the future like that, that would be perfect. I would really, really appreciate that. But for now, I have my little rigged up system right here. Uh, got my circular saw and I have my weed eater. It comes in two parts. There's this part and this part. And you just screw it together. This end screws to here. I'm not gonna take it out because Yeah, I don't want to put all that stuff back together. Like I said, I already, this is going to be a pain putting all this stuff back in. But I just really wanted to show you guys what I have back here. And last but not least, this is my, um, my work boots. I got it at Walmart. So, that's everything. Hope you guys liked the video. And um, tune in next time. This is the Batmobile. <laughs> Alright guys, talk to you later.